If he makes it the way he wants, fine. But if he don't, he's already made it, being the person he is. It's always work at the post office. I'm not waiting for Comedy Central or HBO to do my own special. I think it goes right back to the whole thing of me working in dog years. He killed today. I can't I wait for anybody. At this point, I can't wait for anybody else to do anything else for me. You gotta create your own luck. We had Cindy with the filthy motorcycle. Who was also an amazing self-promoter. Comic standing. Please welcome to stage Jason Weems. Well, time for your host, guys, Mike Wade. Let him in. Hey, what happened to the hair on your chest? I'm gonna say the same thing after the hair on your pussy. Now, bow your ass the fuck on out here. I, I drove 42 fucking miles to come here. I know I deserve more respect than that. Of course, he came out with the Magic Johnson joke, and then I realized, okay, well, I have now. I just, now I gotta start being jealous. Like before, I was respecting him, but now I gotta be like, fuck this nigga. You know what I mean? Once you start saying fuck this nigga, then he becomes. Then you're like, okay, this dude is doing something for real. I don't say fuck this nigga to a lot of people. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I thought maybe he was special, cause he was just so quiet, and he was special in his own way. You can tell that he had potential, but like that one joke just always stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, after the show, I went up to him. I was like, hey, man, you got to keep writing, man. You're funny, dude. You're funny. It was your first time on stage, man. Keep writing. Three weeks later, he had maybe like 15 minutes of killer shit. <laughs> That's Jason Wings, man. He just, he just pumps it out. He's just a naturally funny dude, man. Just genuine dude, good dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Just a good person. I say all that to say this. Uh, I wasn't meant for that because I could have possibly seen me with my attitude at the time going down there because one of them mama jokes I don't think would have went too well with me and I would put my foot in your ass. So I retired under feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like, thank you, Jesus, for the cooks who prepared it. Yeah. Thank you for the, for the opportunity to socialize and um, give thanks for all the celebrities in our family. Yeah. Um, my, <laughs> my brother-in-law, my, my, um, um, whatever I am. <laughs> this miscellaneous like can do. This miscellaneous like Chris Brown. Right. <laughs> Why did I get Chris Brown around? I do not remember how I met Jason. I don't even remember where it was, but I remember one day he wasn't there, and then one day, then the next day everybody was like, you gotta see this Weems kid, and I'm like, who? Um, and then he just was there. Every comedian that comes back here at some point signs this wall. That's me right here from the first time I ever worked at Impro. John Witherspoon, June 7th through the 10th, 2007. Bob Marley, that's me right there. That's me right there with Corey Holcomb. And all of this is me over here in this corner. That's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. And I'm about to add another one right there. Pretty soon this whole entire piece of plywood is going to be me. And I think he's one-tenth as good as Jason Williams five, ten years from now. This was like a, a defining moment and I was like, okay, I've got to do it this year. So now I was like, okay, the fall, my birthday's in December. Um, gives us a little more time to plan the show. And Jay-Z, who's a huge influence on me, in my mind, I was like, okay, how can I tie this into the show? And his birthday's December 4th. Oh, 
Baltimore. Let's just scratch that. Yeah, honestly, Baltimore is one of the livest cities on earth. <laughs> and by live, I mean a lot of people die here. Yeah, in New York City now, about 12:45. Uh, New York, you can say whatever you want. They don't flinch at any reference. They, you know, they'll, they'll just go with you. You can say something dirty. You can say something just completely. And people have all these jokes about abortion and things in New York, and and the crowd goes with it, so they're fine. <coughs> yeah, are you interrupting the interview? I was on the, I was on the street, and this motherfucker. See what y'all do for the white man. See. At least he was dressed up. A lot of people don't dress up their disabilities. Mm -mm. No, that dude's like, this is one crooked arrow. Right. But make, it is sharp as well. Make this limp look good. Right. I'm gonna make this limp look tight. <laughs> right. This is the limp. Right. Kicking it up and down the block. Um, people are more uptight here, especially DC. Not as much Baltimore. But uh, they're uptight in DC. They like to judge. So you say something kind of funny, but might be a little bit harsh or dirty or edgy they like to sort of groan first to voice their disapproval and then they'll laugh after they're done groaning and my principal is like real big on not calling it halloween she's like we don't say the h word here at least walk we don't say the h word we call it the storybook parade so like the kids have to bring in a book to accompany the outfit but this year she wanted to change it up and honor hispanic heritage month which was september 15th through october 15th like, I wanted to be a part of it, like, you, like, interact with the kids, so I came with border control. <laughs> but it never fails. Like, somebody always gets past you. Later that day, I'm walking down the hallway, see a little dude in the middle selling roses. <laughs> too soon? All right, too soon. What the fuck you tell nobody if you've been doing comedy three years, nigga? What? 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 what I tell Eight! Just say eight. Nigga, you, been, you the most confident three-year nigga I know. I got two hours of special. I'm like, no, you don't, motherfucker. Yes, I do, fat bitch. So if you can tell me that, then you need to tell the motherfucker you've been doing comedy eight years. Somebody, ain't nobody going to book you with three years. Oh, go somewhere, you green dick motherfucker. I think he was hilarious. He had me rolling all night. I'm from D.C. He's from Baltimore. We normally don't get along, but tonight he had me rolling. He did a great job. So... I think we've put in too much work at this point for it not to be successful. We gotta win, like it's, it's gonna happen. It's that song, all I do is win, 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 no matter what, what. I'm not dropping this shit and retiring. This is reasonable doubt, like this is, this is the first joint. Question for you, I was asking Leah, what would have to happen? I'm filming an hour special in Baltimore on December 4th. Okay. And I'm trying to get in front of some good crowds before that with larger amounts of time. So if there any way we could work out something where I could do like on the first Friday, like an evening with just myself. Oh, Jason? Oh, that's my nigga. Boy, you getting me. Yes! Yeah, buddy. That's how you doing it? Nah, it is. I'm his little brother. I'm bigger than him. Oh. Hey. Hey, all his all jokes and shit. You write them. All right. That's me. He's a funny person. He's all the hell of a big comedian. He's all the hell of a big comedian. Real quick, guys, before I start, I got a guy in the back taping me tonight. So I'm going to go back behind the curtain. I'm going to come back out. I want y'all to lose y'all shit. Like y'all actually know who I am. My name is Jason Weems. I am a stand-up comedian who lives in Baltimore, Maryland, born and raised. I want to I wanna leave comedy in a better state than I found it. I want to be, of course, respected by my peers, but you want, you know, just that joke that just, I mean, almost kind of changes the landscape of, uh, of comedy.
She was so excited about that. Wasn't that funny?